gravitation part 1 dear students gravitation is a natural phenomenon by which all the physical bodies attract each other the gravitational pull everything is pulled downwards towards the earth force of gravitation the force with which two objects attract each other is called the force of gravitation the force of gravitation acts even if the two objects are not connected to each other gravitation part 2 dear students gravitation is a natural phenomenon by which all physical bodies attract each other when a body moves in a circular path with uniform velocity it experiences a force directed along the radius towards the center of the circle this force is called centripetal force in everyday life we have seen objects that exert circular motion a merry go round a ferris wheel etc universal law of gravitation dear students gravitation is a natural phenomenon by which all physical bodies attract each other universal law of gravitation is also called newton's law of gravitation everybody in the universe attracts every other body with a force which is directly proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them force is directly proportional to the product of their masses m1 into m2 1 force is inversely proportional to the square of the distance of separation between the two objects force is directly proportional to 1 upon r square from 1 and 2 force is equal to g into m1 into m2 upon r square where g is the universal gravitational constant si unit is newton by the arranging the expression for gravitation of force we have g is equal to f into r square upon m1 into m2 si unit is newton meter square per kilogram square or nm square upon kg square the gravitational constant g is equal to the force of gravitation which exists between the two bodies of unit masses kept at a distance from each other the value of universal gravitational constant is g is equal to 6.67 into 10 raised to the power minus 11 nm square upon kg square importance of universal law of gravitation dear students gravitation is a natural phenomenon by which all physical bodies attract each other Universal law of gravitation is also called Newton's law of gravitation. It is the gravitational force between the sun and all the nine planets which make them move around the sun. It is the gravitational force between the earth and the moon which makes the moon move around the earth. It is the gravitational force exerted by the sun and the moon on the sea water leading to the formation of tides in the sea. It is the gravitational pull of the earth which is responsible for holding the atmosphere near the surface of the earth. It is the gravitational pull of the earth which is responsible for the fall of the rain and snow towards the surface of the earth 
the prediction about solar and lunar eclipses made on the basis of Newton's universal law of gravitation always comes out to be accurate. Thrust and Pressure Dear students, pressure is the ratio of force to the area over which that force is distributed. Thrust is a reaction force described quantitatively by Newton's second and third laws. Pressure The force acting perpendicularly on a unit area of the object is called pressure. Force produces less pressure if the area is large and produces large pressure if the area is small. Pressure is equal to force upon area. The SI unit of Newton per square meter N upon M square. Thrust The force acting on a body perpendicular to its surface is called thrust. Thrust is equal to pressure into area. The SI unit is Newton, N. Beyoncé Dear students, Beyoncé is an upward force exerted by a fluid that opposes the weight of an immersed object. The upward force acting on an object immersed in a liquid is called buoyant force. The upward force exerted by a liquid is also known as upthrust. The tendency of a liquid to exert an upward force on an object placed in it is called buoyancy. Factors affecting the buoyant force depends upon the volume of the solid object immersed in the liquid. It depends upon the density of the liquid in which the object is immersed.